How are you doing math learners? This is your free access math teacher Ash and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss radicals. In this video, you will learn how to convert a radical expression to its exponent form and from the exponent form to radical expression. But before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 2 of the grade 9 mathematics which is all about radicals. Question is, what is a radical? Radical or radical expression is basically an expression that uses this symbol, the radical sign. Now, this concept is converted from our last discussion on rational exponents in which the rational exponents can be introduced or can be converted in a way of a radical expression. Now, how is that so? If you could still remember the concept of the rational exponent, if we have b as our base and its exponent is given in this form, m over n, then we can convert this given expression into the nth root of b to the power of m. Or we could write this as the nth root of b quantity to the power of m these are just the same now as you can observe the n here which is the denominator becomes the root of your radical sign and m here will be the exponent of the radical now let me introduce the parts of a radical expression this n here is what we call as the index while this symbol is known as the radical sign while b here is known as the radicand and m here is the exponent of the radicand. So basically, from this given expression, you can convert that into this. If you can still remember our example in rational exponent, which is 9 to the power of 1 half, this is simplified as 3. Now, how is that so? On the previous discussion, we used the law of exponent in which our 9 was converted into 3 squared and then we put our original exponent which is 1 half and applying the power rule we have 3 to the power of 2 over 2 which is simplified into 1 and that will give us 3 but with the use of the radicals this 2 here can be our index and then our 9 will be our radical and our exponent will be 1. So that is understood to have 1. We don't need to write that 1. So what is the square root of 9? That is 3, which is just the same. Now remember, in getting the square root for positive radicands, we can consider the positive and the negative as the root, given that our n is an even number. But if in any case, your n here is an odd number, like 3, 5, then our root can only have one principal root. Example, if we have 27 and we get its cube root, we only have one answer for this one, and that is positive 3. However, if we consider 9, we can have positive and negative 3. Because positive 3 times positive 3 is 9, negative 3 times negative 3 is also 9. Okay? So the question is, how do we convert radical to exponential form or exponential form to radicals. We will consider these examples. Okay, math learners, we have here two different exercises. The first one is we have expressions with rational exponents, and the second one is we have radicals. The first given is we will convert this into radicals, and the second given, or the second set of given, we will convert this into exponential form. Now, let's consider first the first set convert to radicals. Remember that from the given rational exponent, the denominator of the rational number will be your root and the numerator will be the exponent of your radicand. So if we have 5 to the power of 1 half, that means that our nth root will be 2 and in case of radical sign, you don't need to put 2 here because radical signs without a number here means that the index is 2. 
Okay. And then 5 to the power of 1. Now, we don't need to put our 1 because any expression with no visible exponent, it means that its exponent is 1. So that will be our final answer. Easy, right? So how about here? 4k to the power of 2 thirds. Since our denominator is 3, so that will become cube root. And then we will write our radicon, 4k to the power of 2. If you want to simplify this, this will become the cube root of 16k squared. Easy, right? So that is your final answer. How about this one? We have 50x to the power of 1 half. So converting this into radicals, this will become a square root and then 50x. Easy, right? Now for sure, for those students who have a prior knowledge on radicals, for sure some of these answers are not yet in the simplified form. Now the concept here is we are trying to convert the exponential to radical, not to simplify them. Okay? So, let us continue to our second set of the given. We have here convert the following into exponential form. So, since these are radicals, what we will do is we just write our base. Okay? And then, since this is 4, then the exponential form is 1 over 4. Easy, right? Okay. So, that is your final answer. Now, how about this one? We have the cube root of 25A6B4. So, we just write our 25A6B4 to the power of 1. And that will be your exponential form. And finally, we have the fifth root of negative 32x. So, what we can do is we write the negative 32x to the power of 1 fifth. So somehow 32 can still be reduced. I'll just write this one as an alternative answer. So 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So that is negative 2, negative 2 to the power of 5, x, 1 fifth. And then, if you simplify this, this will give you negative 2x to the power of 1 fifth. So, your answer could be this one. Your answer could also be this one. So, I hope you get the idea of how to convert exponential form to radicals and radicals to exponential form. Now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic and here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have understood our session for today. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you for subscribing, liking this video, and sharing this to your friends, fellow classmates, and schoolmates. Take care, God bless, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.